Welcome back to my continuing adventures on SnowRunner on PlayStation 4, episode 48, with me, Mr. Sealy P. And so, straight off the back of the last episode, um, if you didn't see that one, I did a drill rig delivery with one of the colobs, um, and I'm using both of them in conjunction to clear up a few different jobs and contracts heading towards unlocking and getting over to Pedro Bay. This particular one I'm doing at the moment is Valley Pipeline Building. I've already delivered the um, metal beams and service spare parts. What I've done is collect in the last episode the wooden planks and the medium pipes. Um, the last part of this is to collect some oversized cargo. I'm going to do that with the other colob. And rather than use this trailer, um, which I thought would work particularly well I do like the kind of look at it and the you know, solid heavy kind of thing but the oversized load I think requires four sort of capacity points rather than three um, plus I mean to be fair I should whoops I should have used that oh sorry that jolts disconnected the trailer this is the problem we're having the trailer keeps disconnecting every light deep bump um, and any kind of impact it jolts the um, fifth wheel clear so what I should have done, and I, I did when I was on White Valley, um, I tried out different trailers, not White Valley, I'm on White Valley, on uh, Mountain River, when I was doing this off camera, trying out a couple of the different heavies. Um, I used the uh, the low boy, the one that's that's trailed behind, because that, that connection just didn't come apart at any point, it wasn't an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this delivered, get the oversized cargo delivered, and then we'll see where we stand. Uh, moving forward, and I'm going to check out the Pedro Bay situation. Uh, I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I'm pretty sure it's not unlocked yet, because every contract I've clicked on for jobs to Pedro Bay, it says locked, because I think you have to do certain ones in certain order. That said, that doesn't mean the actual map itself isn't unlocked, it just means the particular contract to there isn't open yet, because I've got to do the contracts in order. So that's why I want to whiz over, have a quick look on Mountain River, because if actually if the way through to Pedro Bay is open, what I'm going to do is do up one of the other little scouts I haven't used since way back episode, I don't know, two, three. Um, and we'll, we'll scout out over on Pedro Bay, because I haven't been over there yet, so that's the plan. So yeah, we'll try and get this done as quickly as we can. To be honest with you, the drive now through to the pipeline with this and with the oversized load is going to be fairly straightforward. The oversized load one is going to be pretty much all road. Um, these colobs are brilliant. I love them. Really, really enjoying using them. The, the turning circle on is really good. Got past the icy bit, not too bad. Snow's honking down now. Is this, this bit icy up here? I'm trying to remember now. This is where I speak too soon and get stuck in ice. Which is what normally happens as soon as I open my mouth. I'll do exactly what I said it wasn't happening. No, no, still going. Good, good, good. So this shouldn't take too long. I mean, a big chunk of the last episode was because I, I tried to I say try to take a shortcut, took a shortcut, short in inverted commas, um, through to the sawmill, and it was just a pain. This thing kept disconnecting. I just keep winching it. And if you watched it, you'll know exactly what I mean. You get a little bit like that that become frustrated. It's that kind of oh really you know this this shouldn't be a difficult bit. This this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, but again, it's just that combination. It, just, it, it was just the wrong trailer and, and vehicle for that particular terrain at that particular point. Now, I have already taken the liberty of grabbing the other colob. I've already got the load boy and I've been over to the um, airport aerodrome. I've got the oversized cargo on the back already. Um, so all I've got to do is, once this is delivered, switch over vehicles and I should be able to drive right the way through. I mean, realistically, the drive from the garage to the aerodrome is, is hardly any distance at all, so... You haven't missed anything. Nothing exciting happened. 
<laughs> it's just a drive through and put in a big cargo container on the back. So. We're all good. This bit shit through shouldn't be too bad either. I wonder what rank I'm on. 20, 22, 23? I can't remember now what one. Actually, there's a way of checking this now. Of course, there is. 22. I've got a ways to go yet. <clears throat> That's the problem. The, it's because it was Father's Day over the weekend. I was doing stuff with my family. My wife was saying to me, take a day off, take a day off. And generally speaking, over the last few months, one day at the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I would take a day off. I don't, I don't, I don't work seven days. I don't um, do my video seven days. And normally I would have a Saturday or a Sunday off, depending. Um, that said, the last month or so, I think I've pretty much put videos up right the way through. I, didn't, I hadn't had a day off. Um, I'd still been doing it all the way through. So my wife said to me, take a day off, take a day off. Probably should take a day off. And the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, I really should be putting a video up. I really should be doing something, you know. Um, and it's it's bad, isn't it? Really, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a break every now and again. <laughs> but in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, but I could be. I've got a load of contracts and jobs I need to do on uh, on Snowrunner because I want to unlock blah blah. So in your head, you're constantly thinking, I should be doing something else. But it's all good. Like I say, it doesn't have to have a bit of time away every now and again. Let's get this down, and then what I'll do is uh, shift over to one side. I won't be reversing back over the bridge again. Because <laughs> hopefully once I deliver the other thing, I'll get room the other side. When the pipeline's fixed, I'll be able to drive through and turn around. So uh, I think I, I chanced my arm last time on the last episode, and I reversed this combination back over the bridge, and it worked. But I got lucky. You know, I, I'm not going to do it again, because it won't. it won't work. I know it won't. Now, could I have done this contract quicker? Probably. I could have used different combinations of trailers, and I could have had multiple trailers, and I probably could have done a whole load of this quicker, but... For me, it's not always about the speed of getting it done, it's just doing it, you know? Uh, what have we got in there as well? Wooden planks. Done. Right, so what I'll do is, because I need to be out of the way for the other one coming through... Is I'm not going to do it when people think, oh, what's he doing? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to just pull over out of the way. And as I said before, in the spirit of collaboration, I'm going to go and grab the other colop. And let's move that out of the way. Just to about. That should do. Stop there. Engine off. Onto the map. Switch to the other colob. I think this is my favourite of the two, actually. I haven't really used it very much. I only, I only got it um, just before the start of the last episode. It's a proper beastie. And this is what I was talking about. So that's the low boy. And the connection on the back of that, um, it's not... Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Going over all sorts of terrain seems incredibly flexible. Um, it just works really well. So I like it. I love the sound of this thing too. So I say the journey through from here should be fairly straightforward. This is where again I do something silly and roll the trailer over and it won't be straightforward. That's interesting how that keeps happening. Turning circle on these things is great but every now and again for some reason you make a turn and it just does not want to turn. Do not tip over. I have found the low boys and stuff to be fairly stable. Let's see, we're still getting up low range. Right. It's a deep snow, it doesn't like. Come on. Okay. 
Okay. I love, look at the, the rubber like mud guards over the top there. I should bounce on, see the material bouncing. You have to do again. Look, as we go. Ah, oh, it's coming. Up. I love that. It's a little feature, small things, small details that if it didn't do that, you wouldn't notice, you wouldn't know, it wouldn't matter. But the fact they do, that's brilliant. I love it. Quite some, yeah, it's light up. It's light up everything. Fortunately, it's going to mean taking out some more road signs, and again, I apologise. And no, I'm not paying for them. I'm not paying fines. For those people that love doing that on Farming Simulator, every time I knock a sign over, I get people e sending me messages and emails saying, the local council will find you, blow us. No. <laughs> sometimes I pay them, sometimes I don't. And sometimes it's not me that knocks them over. Sometimes they're already on the floor when I get there. Honest officer. It was like it when I got here. You can't prove nothing, copper. I think I'm having one of those days. I'm a bit delirious, I don't know why. Oh, this thing is mint. Love it. What a beast. It's a pity these ones, I can only, you can't have this like, saddle high on them. You can't have any backs on them. I don't think you can have any backs on them. I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, that's just cool. I think there's another Azov I haven't got yet. We've got a couple. There's loads of vehicles I haven't got yet that I haven't used yet or tried yet. Oh, it's probably snowing now, isn't it? And it's interesting. I, like when I delivered the drill rig part in the first part of the last episode, just went off without a hitch, no problem whatsoever. This is the same. You think, oh no, I've done certain ones of these. I think I did the one on, oh, what map was it? Um, quarry. Where I had to collect the oversized cargo from down at down at the um, shipwreck. Blimey, that was a game. And it, again, it's the train. It's the train, the vehicles you're using. This particular one, you think, oh no, I've got to get an oversized cargo. It's all on the road. Hasn't been a problem whatsoever. It's nice when you get one of these every now and again, it just goes off without a hitch. Away we go. So, once this is delivered, I'm going to have to have another look then, see what's available next as far as um, company contracts go. Um, but I will whiz over and have a look at the map and see. So, I say, if Pedro Bay is unlocked as a kind of, you can just go over there and get on with it fine it might be that the contracts are still locked because you need to do the contracts in certain orders it won't let you do certain things until you've done other things first so i don't we'll have a look at both it could be that both are completely linked so that the map stays locked until you have done certain jobs but we'll see and I'm, I'm itching to get pedro bay unlocked and i'm itching to get over back onto michigan um and get the other two on there done because I still haven't done them. Rocks, ha! Mere pebbles under the tread of the golob. Right, don't mess up now. Get overconfident and then I'll make a mistake and roll it over. Still in the back, still looking good. Right, let's try and get this lined up as neatly as I possibly can. I do not want the slow boy coming off here. Whoa, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up.
And there we go. Cleared. Which means, like I say, I can try to and turn around. I haven't got to worry about backing over the bridge. Well, these two did really well. Liking them a lot. Uh, right then. So, let's go across uh, to here. GR Enterprises, I've, I've got nothing available. I've done everything on there, which is great. Blackbird, I've got from water to land, which is, um, that's just collecting up some drilling spare parts. I don't think that's relevant to open anything else up. Um, we've got Morrison Mining, I've got a few though. Drilling stuff delivery to Northport. Supply crates, where's the one that's, um, there was one that was locked. Oh, there we go, locked. Discover Pedro Bay. So, um, access to location. So I need to go and check it out then and see if that's still locked. Because there's something that... Do I have to do these three first before that would unlock or not? So what I'm going to do is go to Global Map. We're going to whiz over to Mountain River. And... Where is the Pedro Bay access? That's over there, isn't it? Yeah, this is nothing showing. It's not showing locked or anything. So I'm assuming I've got to do other jobs before I can actually... Before that will unlock. Does it say anything? What does it say I need to do? It just says, yeah, discover Pedro Bay. Um... Yeah, so potentially I'm not going to get onto Pedro Bay just yet. I'm going to have to do a few jobs first. Um, but again, they, I might just do those off screen. So I'm just thinking the next time you see me, I may well be ready to do Pedro Bay, but I will have had to do a few jobs first before getting to that point. Actually, what's I ticked? I need to knock something else off the list, don't I? Drilling stuff delivery. So, deliver to the drilling site, Northport, drilling equipment, times one. Uh, with what I've got on here, that's probably going to be absolutely fine. Drilling site, north port. You know what? I'm just going to activate that. Let's get that one done. Uh, so we'll go all the way back over to the aerodrome where I just was, which is fine. I'm pretty sure what I've got in the back of here. That'd be right for the drilling equipment. Is it four? Or is it five? I need. What's it cut over? Don't hit the other colob on the way through. Already hit the colob on the way through. Right, let's go and get this. I have collected the drilling equipment. I have it on the back. It's just gone six o'clock in the morning. And we are heading to the crossing from White Valley through to Northport. This bit <laughs> should be okay. Um, the first bit of the transport over should be okay, but then we've got to get to the drilling site, which is going to be a little bit trickier. It shouldn't be too difficult. Again, famous last words. I've lost count of the amount of times I've said that. Um, so, I'm finding the loading time between maps is a lot quicker. Turn the lights on. Right, so... So, we're going to take a right here, probably stop and get fuel on the way through. Uh, and then we'll, we'll find a suitable route through where we shouldn't have too many issues. I do like the drilling stuff delivery. <laughs> stuff. That's always a bit dicey, in it? For a couple of reasons. One, you get pulled over. Routine stop and check, you know, it happens. What's on the manifest, sir? Well, the cargo says, stuff. What's in the back? No idea. Stuff. Um, it was one of those things when I worked at school and we were doing English. We always used to tell the kids, in every year group I ever worked in, using the words stuff and thing when you're writing. Unless, obviously, in the correct context, yes. You know, if you're using a stuff sack to put something in, the word stuff is fine. But kids would always say, yeah, adults as well, everyone does it. You know, oh yeah, what we do? Oh, I just did stuff. I'm doing stuff. You know, oh yeah, these things, 
what things? What? Describe them. And that's the thing, isn't it? We all get into the habit of, you know, the thing, but in the right context. You know, oh, it was a thing. The th you know, okay, but what? Describe the thing. What stuff is it? You know, and people say, and much, much more. But what, what much, much more? Say what the much, much more is. You know, there's so many things, you know, I to, and that's just, I suppose it's being pedantic, but it is that when you're teaching children to write English, it's very easy we fall into the traps of how we speak English. And that's what I always try to convey to kids. You've got to remember, if someone's reading something, if you're reading a story, it's not like watching a film where it's all there in front of you. What's right there in front of you on a TV screen, in a book, you have to describe all of that so the reader can imagine it, they can see it, they can understand what it is you're talking about. If you say, I walked into a room and there was stuff everywhere, right? The person reading's got to imagine stuff whatever stuff they want to put in there. So you've got to, you've got to describe it, couldn't you? I know I've gone off on a bit of a tangent, but it's just one of those, you know, I'm, I'm taking drilling equipment. So that kind of drilling stuff delivery, so, okay. Oh dear, sorry. I didn't stop and get fuel. See, so busy talking about stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearing me. Whatever next. Although this keeps happening actually, I've noticed that a lot with this. I keep finding yeah, weird holes I've never noticed before. It seems to drop into, I don't know why that is, but anyway. Um, there is a fuel tanker actually at the drilling site, isn't there? So if we can get there on what we've got, uh, we should be alright. I am going to keep plugging away on these tasks. Um, it may be there's something really obvious I'm missing with the Pedro Bay thing. I'm pretty sure it's just a case of plugging away through the contracts until one kind of unlocks what you need. Yeah, done it again. It, it's, it jolts every now and again, like it's sticking on something. It's so weird. I'm hoping this is going to be the... I mean, to be fair, without going halfway around the map and even coming in from other directions there's there's a few sketchy bits you've got to get around this is probably the best route I'm going to get you don't really slip at all or is it just caught up in the snow might just be the trailer in the snow oh good oh good love this, love it Again, it's that funny thing in it that when I started off, and again, was it episode seven, episode nine, when I bought the um, the Azov, and I kept calling it the Beast, you know, because that was up, up until that point that was the most beasty vehicle I had. And every time you unlock something bigger, it's like, oh, this is a beast. Well, it's a, a different sort of beast, you know. But these are absolutely monsters. I haven't been on the uh, Snow Runner forum or on the Twitter for a little while. Um, I know they've been putting regular updates with regard to uh, the dev team putting stuff about updates. I know PC seems to be getting quite a few hot fixes, which kind of as they're done, they just put them up, you know. Whereas the console ones are a bit more difficult, so they have to do a bit more of a scheduled proper update kind of thing. Which I understand, I get that. They did say the steering wheel stuff would be in the next week or two. It's been it's been two weeks since the rift update. Yes, hasn't it? Has it just been a week? Oh, blimey, everything's flying by so quick. Swing out and ride. So I'll come at this more straight on for the trailer's sake. I don't want the trailer something tilting away horribly. One thing I haven't done much of, um, and I was talking to Baron Papper about this other day, is crane jobs. 
on any of the maps, the jobs where you take out with a crane and go and collect containers from rivers and oil drums and very, I haven't done any container job, uh, crane jobs. I think on one of the maps, I don't even know if I showed it, did I show it or not? I got, um, I got almost to the point I was supposed to be at and my cargo came off so I went to get a crane and loaded it back on so I'm not going all the way back again and doing it again. Um, but I don't know if I actually showed that. So that's something I need to probably do a bit more of or go and do a couple of. I think maybe when I go back to Michigan or I think there are a couple on here that I could do. So at some point I might do an episode where I do a bit of stuff with the cranes because I haven't really, yeah, haven't really touched them to be honest with you. This doesn't seem too bad a route. Behind. All right. This corner might be a little bit tricky. Go wide at the entrance. Should be all right. I say, unfortunately, the drilling site here it really doesn't matter what way you come at it. This is probably the better of the routes because all the others we've got a lot of hills up and down and some really tight turns. This to me just seemed to be the best route in, but it's not to say it could transpire, it's not, but it's literally just there. Colob. Oh, a big old bump. Okay. Really wide through here, I think. Post. Oh no, it went straight into it. I thought I was going to miss that, and it just suddenly slipped. There we go. Nice and wide. Do not tip over now, not after all this. Right, we're good. We're good. So, wasn't too bad. Promotion. Always like a bit of promotion. Rank 23. Okay. Let's have another look then, shall we? Surely I can't, it's just not simple as I've got to do that one before it. Is there anyone here that needs to be done first? See, that's the same, Pedro Bay's lots of potential. I've got to do supply crates. So there's the lumber mill, White Valley, consumables times four. Where have we got consumables here? Oh, well, they're down at the port. But I could do, if I come right the way back out, I can put four sets of consumables on there and then take that back through to White Valley. So I might do that now, but I'll probably do it off screen. Um, I'll activate it, but what I'm looking at is where I am now. Mind you, I've got nothing on the back, so I've got to worry about the trailer too much. If I go back out the way I came, around that way, will I get across there? Maybe. Down to the port, then just follow the main road all the way back, round past the service hub and garage, all the way back up, all the way back up and back to White Valley. Oh, the lumber mill. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, it's got to be done anyway. Uh, yeah, let me crack on with that. Oh, 
There's fuel here somewhere. Where was the fuel? There was a little tanker. Or oh, was that one of the deliveries I had to do? So I have to collect it. It's around there. That's around there, I can see it. Did it let me do it? Right, I'll see in a little bit. Uh, I'll take these uh, consumables and then we'll see where we stand. It might be only into a couple off screen, but I want to be at a point where we can get onto Pedro Bay. That's where I'm aiming for. Typical, isn't it? I spent all this time. The weird thing is, I've gone from map to map, and all the different maps I've unlocked. I've either had to do a contract to get it to unlock, or get to a certain point within the company contracts to get it to unlock, or I've gone around the map, and as it's unlocked different parts of the map, the the actual thing, the symbol has come up. So I was going through all the contracts. Blackbird, I'm up to pipeline repair. GR Enterprises, I was all done, and Morrison Mining, I got to the point where. Those two were both locked, and the Blackbird one, Pipeline Repair, was locked. It says Discover Pedro Bay, and I was like, I don't understand, what, what have I done wrong? So I thought, you know what, what I was going to do was get the Chevrolet CK1500, the one that I lost way, way back at the start, that disappeared, tune it right up, and come and discover Pedro Bay, once it was unlocked. Um, it was a case of no way Pedro, you know? Um, so I drive up here and the symbol appeared. So when it said discover Pedro Bay, it was literally, I just had to drive up and discover it. So, we're off to Pedro Bay. Um, I've tuned up as much as I can. I've got the, the a big old engine block. I think it's an eight litre have I got on this now. Uh, lifted, I've got chains on this one. So it's... Um, it's excellent off-road, good mud, excellent ice. I was hoping for excellent, excellent, but then looking at the road, that's probably not such a bad thing. All wheel drive on, start it up. Um, so yeah, high lift, front bumpers, fog lights. Um, I've also got the tall um, snorkel. And we're gonna go and check it out. This is my first time on here. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna be here. I don't know how much of it we're gonna be able to unlock. I'll do what I can um, within the time I've kind of got left. So uh, let's just check it out, shall we? You know what's going to happen, like I'm looking at now. The first obstacle is going to be a river that I can't afford. <laughs> or is that all ice? Oh, this is going to be fun. Well, it says water over road. I do have chains on to be fair, which is supposed to help with that. Well, this is pretty cool. I'll just head straight on ahead. Uh, straight on ahead. I'll head straight on ahead. And then we'll check the map in a minute. Right. First proper junction. Let's have a look on the map and see what's what, shall we? Oh, thousand dollar fine for littering enforced. Not quite sure who's going to enforce it, but you know. So, how many watchtowers have we got? We've got four. It's not too big a map by the look of things. Let's see what we can do. We'll turn left down here. We'll head down so we can get that one. Well, like I said, we'll just see how many we can get in, and uh, yeah, let's just crack on with it. It's what I was intending to do. So let's do it. I say, of all the scout vehicles, this is the only one I didn't replace in the end. Um, so I thought, well, I've pretty much unlocked everything I need for it, and it's the only one I hadn't had a bit of a blitz around in. So 
why not give it a go? So this is going to be a rock fall one, I would imagine. Dangerous route. What does the task say? Details. Deliver to the bridge wooden planks. Okay, well, at the moment, don't need to worry. Let's head around here. That's still spinning like mad. Diff lock on. Low range. I'm assuming that's because it's got chains on. Oh, that's not good. I should have stuck with the mud tyres. Should have gone with my gut. Because that's terrible. Yet again, a completely different sort of terrain. Quick check on the map. Where's the watchtower? We need to stay on course and then take a left if we can. Oh, I'm really not happy about this tide choice. Look at that, that's rubbish. I thought this would perform better. That's the price you pay when you don't take the tatter in everywhere. <laughs> oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I suppose because that deep snow is kind of like mud, and these are not great for mud. But. Seriously? Right, so can't get that way, can't get that way. Can I get to the watchtower? I wonder if I can just go through the trees, but that's quite... I don't know actually, you know what, I wonder. Can I just follow the edge? Time to give it a go, can't we? <gasps> I thought I was going to sink then. Don't tip over. That was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh. Always check the waiting depth with a stick before you drive through. Come on. You can do it. It's actually not too bad at all, is it? So have we come to a track by any chance? Sure looks like it. Right. Where are we? Follow it around the coast? Yep. Coast. You know what I mean? <laughs> the lake edge. The coast. Well, I suppose, you know, technically it's a bay, isn't it? this a lot. Woohoo! Oh, 
I'm going to run out of fuel. Just suddenly realised. Because I don't think... I've got the stuff in the back, but I don't think I've got fuel cans, have I? I'm going to have to be recovered. So, what are we looking at? Morrison's landslide. Well, so everything's blocked, pretty much. What have we got here? Oh, spiral up to the top of there. So that's blocked. That bridge needs fixing. That bridge needs fixing. Or is that one there? Oh, that's true. Is that one there for this one? Oh, potentially. Yeah, dangerous route. That's for this one. So I could have gone on that way. And then cut in. Oh, okay. Never mind. What we got there? Goose next semi trailer. So we can head across to this one, maybe. Fuel permitting. I mean, I don't know what we need is a little trailer. We need a trailer store. What's that? Factory? We like to have a trailer? Tra a trailer? A trailey store there? Maybe. Right. So, have I got no recover repair? I, I had the full roof rack on, which had fuel, and I had been told in the comments get rid of the roof racks. The roof racks are terrible, they're you know, really bad for your centre of gravity, they slow you down, you don't need them. Pretty sure I'm going to need one now. could hamper my progress somewhat if I run out of fuel because I can't go on foot um, what I might have to do then is go back to uh, all the way back to White Valley grab another vehicle that's got fuel or bring a little fuel tanker with me or something drive all the way back out here and refuel this I don't want to recover this back and then oh, it's just as long as it's short isn't it um, back to a garage and then re restock it and put a roof rack on it I must admit all my other vehicles have got roof racks on I haven't had a problem to be honest with you, they are a little bit top heavy here and there, but not horrendously so. Now, when I was saying about all the, you know, as you progress and the vehicles get more kind of efficient for what you're doing, there is something to be said for going back to just a basic, I say basic, it's not basic scout vehicle, is it? Because it's all tuned up, but just for a bit of banging around, you know, just a bit of fun. Whoops. Yeah, it doesn't like the powdery snow at all. The wheels just start slipping. Mid low is probably about if I go low low. Yeah, they don't slip at all really, low low. That's incredibly slow. But I suppose at the end of the day, that's what you need. This is going to be an interesting one for doing jobs on, isn't it? So again, going to have to be getting out here with some vehicles, getting some uh, pathways cleared, roads unblocked. Fuel is coming down. Maybe I will go back and then change the tyres. I'm 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 all, I'm absolutely prepared to sacrifice driving on ice for the ability to drive through the mud better. I, I really am. Because I am then curious to come back out along here and see if it is much easier. It should be, shouldn't it? If I've got excellent, excellent, rather than good, excellent. How much further have we got to go? I'm thinking we'll get to the next watchtower and we're going to be running short on time, so... Because of the what it took for me to get to 
to unlocking Pedro Bay. I didn't have to unlock Pedro Bay. All I had to do was drive up to the to the tunnel entrance. Is all I had to do. Ah, ah. So for all those people that co have commented already, all those people that were getting cross with me, that's all I had to do. This is probably not the best use of fuel, is it? Let's crawl out. But we have found an upgrade. Advanced special. Oh, Tatarin, as off Dan, both the Colobs. Nice. Oh, that is spinning. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm grinning like an idiot. So much fun. Come on. Give me a trailer store. What? Oh, the diff lock. I'm so busy looking for... Has this got to be unlocked? Oh, come on. I've got to deliver to it, haven't I? Oh dear, right. So this is going to require a delivery. Uh, am I going to get to there? Potentially. Out, left, follow it. So we'll get two done out the out the four. Cool. Let's crack on. I would just cut across, try across that powdery stuff, but this, that's not the best idea. What would be cool? We can refuel and we can rearm, so to speak. Oh, it's a point. Cool. Um, wouldn't it be cool if you could... Um, have a vehicle that you, you bring out tyres so you can resub so you actually swap your tyres out while you're out and about rather than going back to the garage. That'd be quite cool. Whoa. Quarter of a tank of fuel left. Did not want to get bogged down there. Yep. Another. Not another blockage. Cool, this is. Right. Right. Hang on. Left, then right. It's just in those trees, isn't it? Just through there somewhere. Right. 
was close. Ah. It's actually in there. I run out of fuel. There it is. So revving to get through this snow is what's going to be uh, the death knell for the Chevrolet. Fourteen litres. <laughs> Come on. Oh, is that another upgrade? It is... Let's, should we get the upgrade first? Right, second watchtower done. Let's grab this other upgrade. What are we looking at? So, lost car delivery, warehouse loading, upgrade, Hold down. Family treasure. Old Mac and Drown car. So, I say two left. I'm going to either go back or I'm going to... I think I'm probably going to go back. Because I'm going to change the tyres out. I'm going to put a roof rack on. So I've got extra fuel to bring with me. Um, that's what we're going to do. But first, I'm going to get this upgrade. And that is where we will leave this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have... Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. I hope you have. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. There we go. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>